Hey there, amazing listeners. I'm sorry, thrilled to welcome you back to my podcast, to this Kampung English podcast. So, my name is Teguri Mata. So, today's episode, so I would like to deep dive into the ocean of self discovery. Yes, it is self discovery of your own potentials. So, actually, you know what? We are actually shining in a spotlight on something that is part of all of our lives. The tricky habit of comparing ourselves sometimes to others, it is not really that good. Seriously, it's like this sneaky thieves that can steal our joy and confidence if we let it. But fear not, we are here to talk about it, why it's crucial to slam the brakes on these comparison games. So picture this, you are scrolling through your social media feed and it's like never-ending parade of people achieving incredible things, looking flawless, living their best lives. It's easy to get caught in this whirlwind of comparisons, thinking, why isn't my life like that? Or am I falling behind? Belhora, before we dive deep into this, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Trust me, you don't want to miss the golden nuggets we are about to drop in this, this, today's discussions. So now let's jump into why uh, comparing ourselves to others like wearing sunglasses in the dark. It just doesn't make any sense and it deems our own unique shines. Stick around folks, it's going to be an eye-opening journey. Uh, this is the Godimata your podcast pal and we are about to embark on a game-changing conversation right here on Kampong English podcast so the comparison traps all right let's dive even deeper uh, into this whole comparison trap thing in today's world when you're talking about this especially uh, with the uh, constant scroll fast on social media it's like we are playing this never-ending game of comparisons. We see people achieving milestones, walking their best lives, and it's so easy to think that, am I measuring up? Am I even eligible here? But here's the reality check, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The comparison trap is like a maze. The more we wander in it, the further we get from our own path, believe me. Think about, for example, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now we all know that uh, him as this mega successful Hollywood star and former wrestler, right? But did you know that he struggled with depressions and injuries during his uh, previous career, which automatically like didn't take off as as he hoped? Uh, the Rock, but somehow in here, could have easily fallen into the comparison trap of uh, watching other success uh, in his own field while he faced setback, but instead he chose to carve his own path, transitioning from wrestling to acting, becoming one of the highest paid actors globally. His story in a, a testament to the power of staying true to your unique journey. So that is about that. Or maybe let's take uh, the other examples, like for example, Lady Gaga, for instance. Before she was the pop sensations we know today, she faced multiple rejections in music industries. People compared her to other artists, for example, questioning her style and approach. But did that stop her? Absolutely not. Gaga persisted, stayed true to her artist, and she's an icon right now. Her journey reminds us that the comparison strap can drown out our authenticity and success often came uh, to those who dances to their own beats. Believe me, that is something that we have to trust about ourselves. And now, uh, so my friends, let's remember that the moment we start sizing ourselves against others, we risk missing out on the beauty of our individual journey. Your story is unique, you know that? Your story is unique. Just like the rocks or the Lady Gaga, for example. So don't let comparison straps steal your spotlight, okay? And then, now let's talk about the uh, second thing about our discussion today, which is about the power of your thoughts. We are talking about the power of your thought. All right, let's dig into the mind-blowing realms of how our thoughts shape our entire reality. This isn't just self, some self-help jargons. It is actually a game changer. Trust me, it's actually a game changer. Consider the journey of Michael Jordan, for example. Arguably one of the greatest basketball players of all times. Now, I mean, we all know that this iconic 23 jerseys, 
but not many know that Jordan got cut from his high school's um, basketball team. Can you imagine the thoughts racing through his mind at that moment? Instead of dwelling on failure, he used that setbacks as fuel. Jordan embraced the law of assumptions success mindset, assuming he could you know, overcome any obstacle, and we all know how that turned out. Six NBA championships and the legacy that transcends the courts. I mean, history teaches us that assuming success, even in the face of initial failure, can redefine our journey. Trust me, that works. Now, that's it, the other examples. Let's shift gears and look at the Indomitable's Oprah Winfrey. Um, long before becoming a media mogul, Oprah, I mean, faced poverty, abuse, and setbacks. However, she held onto the belief that her thoughts could shape her reality. Her unvarying "you are what you think" mentality is actually propelled her to success. From a local news anchor to an international renowned talk show host, Oprah's journey exemplifies the transformative power of assuming success. It's like she scripted her own success story through the law of assumptions itself. So my friends, here's the takeaway. The thoughts we entertain can either propel us forward or hold us back. If Michael Jordan and Oprah Winfrey can change their assumptions into triumphs, imagine the possibility that you could have in your life. Now let's talk about the other things. We just about the law of attraction and positive uh, vibes. Uh, now let's <laughs> journey into the fascinating world of law of attraction and the incredible, uh, the incredible. Uh, influence of positive vibes. Um, imagine, for example, this uh, Keanu Reeves, the man known for his roles in action films, for example, The Matrix and John Wick, for example. He faced a series of personal tragedies, including the loss of his longtime partner and stillborn daughter. Uh, despite these hardships, Reeves maintains a positive mindset and channels positive energy into his work. He believes in the power of mani manifestations and visioning the success he desired. Uh, today, we can see that Keanu stands as not just an actor, but also as a symbol of resilience and uh, positive, uh, positivity in the face of adversity. And another shining example, so we can talk about, for example, uh, J.K. Rowling. Uh, long before the magical world of Harry Potter took shape, a uh, rolling face financial struggles and the challenge of being a single parent. In the minds of adversity, well, she clung to a positive vibe only mindset, using her love for writing as a beacon of hope. Uh, Rowling's uh, commitment to positivity eventually led her uh, to create one of the most beloved literary series in the history, which is uh, Harry Potter. Uh, her journey itself illustrates that maintaining positive vibes can turn even the darkest chapters into tales of triumphs. So, yeah, that is about the example of um, J.K. Rowling. So my friends, said, positive thinking isn't just wishful. It is actually magnetic force that attracts opportunities and abundance to cultivate positivity in your life and leverage the law of attractions. Now let's talk about uh, the other thing, which is the last about the never give up on your dreams. As we wind down our uh, chat, let's dive even deeper into the sense of uh, perseverance and the unyielding spirits of not giving up on your dreams. Picture this, Vincent van Gogh, uh, the legendary artist. I mean, his life was a, a tapestry of hardships, emotional struggles, and financial instability. I mean, despite facing immense challenge, van Gogh uh, had onto his dream of becoming an artist. It says that he only sold one painting during his lifetime. Can you imagine that? But his unwaver unwavering belief in his artistic visions eventually shaped him into one of the most celebrated painters in history. Van Gogh's story tells us that perseverance isn't just about overcoming obstacles, it's about staying true to your patience and visions, no matter how tough the road may be. 
Now let's turn our attention to the incomparable, for example, uh, Serena Williams. Um, beyond the Grand Slam victories and global recognitions, Serena was actually faced early criticisms and racisms in the tennis world. But did she let that dim her fire? Absolutely not. Serena's embraced the mantra of believe in yourself and never give up. Her relentless pursuit of excellence not only transforms the landscapes of women's tennis, but become an inspiration for athletes worldwide. Can you believe that? Serena's journey, uh, Serena's uh, journey reinforces the idea that belief in oneself and a refusal uh, to give up can propel you to extraordinary heights. That is one thing that you have to remember. So my friends, let this story echo in your mind. Perseverance isn't just buzzword. It's a force that shapes destinies, your journey. No matter how challenging, it's a canvas waiting for your unique strokes. Let's commit together to never give up on our dreams and break free from the comparisons trapped. So, uh, there you have it, my friends. What an incredible journey we have in Brooklyn today. As we wrap up, I want you to carry this insight with your, uh, with you like a precious gems. Your uniqueness is not just a feature, it's your a superpower. The more you embrace your individuality, the more you, uh, you unleash your potentials. So remember, the comparisons game is a thief of your joy and a saboteur of progress. Each of us is on our own distinctive journey and measuring it against someone else is like comparing apples to oranges, it just doesn't add up. If uh, today's video struck, uh, struck a chord with, uh, with you and you found yourself somehow nodding along, don't keep it to yourself. Hit that like button, share it with your uh, friends and drop a comment. Your thoughts and stories are the heartbeats of this podcast. So. Um, yeah, that's it for me. And hey, if you haven't already, I mean, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are on a mission to actually to bring your empowering uh, content that ignites that spark within you. Your journey is a story waiting to unfold, and we want to be right there with you every step of the way. So until our next and endeavors, my wonderful listeners, stay positive in the face of challenge. Stay focused on your unique path. And above all, uh, keep believing in yourself. This is the Godi Marta, your companions in empowerment, signing off from um, Kampong English Speaking Online's podcast. Until next time, take care and keep shining.